Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Juster. For regular updates I request you to subscribe our channel, also you can join our community by becoming a member of our channel, you get access to a whole range of exclusive perks that will take your experience to the next level, so, what are you waiting for, joining our channel membership is easy, just click the join button below to unlock all these amazing perks and support our channel directly. Your membership helps us create more content and improve our videos for everyone. The characters in the novel are The themes of the novel are The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Juster is a whimsical and imaginative story about a boy named Milo who is bored with life until he discovers a mysterious tollbooth in his room. When he drives through it in his toy car, he finds himself in the Kingdom of Wisdom, a place filled with puns, wordplay, and fantastical characters. As Milo explores the kingdom, he learns valuable lessons about the importance of curiosity, learning, and having an open mind. Along the way, he encounters strange places like Dictionopolis and Digitopolis, meets memorable characters like the Weatherman and the Math Magician, and goes on a quest to rescue the princess's rhyme and reason. Through Milo's adventures, the book explores complex ideas in a fun and accessible way, encouraging readers to embrace knowledge and imagination. It's a timeless story that celebrates the joy of learning and the power of creativity. The story starts with a boy named Milo who lives in a dull and ordinary world. He doesn't find anything interesting or exciting in his life. Every day seems the same, filled with boredom and monotony. He lacks curiosity and enthusiasm, often feeling like there's nothing worth exploring. Milo's room reflects his lack of interest, it's messy and disorganized, much like his thoughts. He doesn't see the point of learning or paying attention in school, finding everything to be a chore. His attitude towards life is summed up by his favorite phrase, I don't see the point. This introduction sets the stage for Milo's journey, highlighting his dissatisfaction with the world around him and his lack of appreciation for learning and exploration. One day, while feeling particularly bored, Milo discovers a mysterious package in his room. Inside the package is a tollbooth. Confused but intrigued, Milo decides to assemble the tollbooth and, without much thought, drives his toy car through it. To his surprise, he finds himself transported to a fantastical world called the Kingdom of Wisdom. This kingdom is divided into two regions, Dictionopolis and Digitopolis, each representing different aspects of knowledge and learning. As Milo ventures further into this strange land, he meets interesting characters like Tok, a watchdog with a clock in his side, and the weatherman, who controls the weather. These encounters mark the beginning of Milo's journey of discovery and self-realization. In Dictionopolis, Milo learns about the importance of words and language. He discovers that words have power and that understanding them can lead to meaningful communication and expression. The inhabitants of Dictionopolis, such as the spelling bee and the humbug, teach Milo valuable lessons about language and its nuances. Milo also encounters the princess's rhyme and reason, who have been banished from the kingdom by the villainous discord and din. Their absence has caused chaos and confusion to reign over Dictionopolis, highlighting the importance of order and reason in society. As Milo navigates through Dictionopolis, he begins to appreciate the beauty and significance of language, realizing that words hold the key to unlocking knowledge and understanding. After leaving Dictionopolis, Milo sets out on a journey to Digitopolis, the realm of numbers and mathematics. Along the way, he faces various challenges and obstacles, including the demons of ignorance, who try to discourage him from continuing his quest. In Digitopolis, Milo meets the mathematician, who teaches him about the importance of numbers and logic. Through his encounters in Digitopolis, Milo learns that mathematics is not just about calculations, it's about problem-solving and critical thinking. As Milo delves deeper into the world of numbers, he gains a newfound appreciation for mathematics and its role in shaping the world around him. He realizes that just like words, numbers have the power to unlock new possibilities in understanding. After journeying through Dictionopolis and Digitopolis, Milo begins to understand the importance of curiosity, learning, and exploration. He realizes that the world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered, and that every experience, no matter how small, has the potential to teach and inspire. Armed with this newfound knowledge and perspective, Milo returns to the real world through the tollbooth. 
However, he is no longer the same boy who left, he is now filled with a sense of curiosity and wonder, eager to explore and learn about the world around him. As Milo reflects on his journey, he realizes that life is what you make of it, and that every moment is an opportunity for growth and discovery. With a renewed sense of purpose, Milo sets out to embrace the adventure of life with open arms, ready to face whatever challenges may come his way. The Phantom Tollbooth is more than just a whimsical adventure, it's a story about the importance of curiosity, learning, and self-discovery. Through Milo's journey, readers are reminded that life is full of wonders waiting to be explored, and that curiosity and imagination are the keys to unlocking its mysteries. The characters and landscapes of the Kingdom of Wisdom serve as allegories for different aspects of knowledge and understanding, illustrating the interconnectedness of words, numbers, and ideas. By embracing curiosity and embracing the unknown, Milo learns that there is always something new to discover and that every experience, no matter how small, has the potential to teach and inspire. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.